Hi everyone, this is Tyler with Code Emoji, and today I am going to show you a really neat scratch project that I have named Choir. Um, I got the inspiration from the Scratch team at um, their website, so I really hope you enjoy building this project. So let me first show you what it is. So on the screen in front of me, you can see all these different starfish. You can see a butterfly and you can see an octopus. They're kind of on a stage. Um, and a choir is just like a group of people that sing or, um, you know, make noise, use instruments. So that's what we're going to build today. When I go ahead and click on these sprites, just listen and see what they do. You can see when I click on the different starfish and octopus and butterfly, all my different sprites, they change their costumes, they look a little different, and they make a really cool noise using a different instrument. Um, so you guys are gonna build essentially your own band. You can use whatever sprites you want, whatever instruments you want to use. You can do as many or as little sprites that you wanna have in your band. So really customize it and make it your own. So let's go ahead and open up a new scratch tab. Um, so the first thing that we are going to do today is we are going to download the music extension. What the music extension does is normally you have all these categories on the left starting with motion. Okay, and then they go all the way down to my blocks. But this music extension is available to anybody. And how do you add it? You go to these little white blocks down here at the bottom left, the white blocks with the plus sign. And then you're going to click music. And this will just allow you to have more blocks. There are more extensions you can choose from, pen, text-to-speech, and they're all really cool. So I encourage you to take a moment and, you know, explore them if you are not familiar with them. But today we're just going to use the music. Next, we're going to go ahead and change our sprite. I am going to go ahead and use the starfish. I think they're pretty cool looking. So I'm going to delete my scratch sprite. And I'm going to go find the starfish. and you're right here perfect next I need somewhere for my starfish to play I need like a stage so you can choose any backdrop you like I'm gonna choose a little bit of a different one that I showed you in my example I'm gonna go ahead and choose hmm, concert because I want my starfish to like kind of be like they're in a concert I'm going to go ahead and move my starfish right here. He looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some music. So the first thing that we need is an events block. These events blocks tell the code when to start. So this starfish, I want him to work. I want them to play when I click them. So when this sprite is clicked, that's how I'm telling my code, hey, I want you to run, is when I click this sprite, what do I want it to do? First, I want it to go to a different costume because I kind of want to make it look like they're moving or maybe they're changing color. So if I click on costumes, this one already has a costume. So I think for this, for this member of my choir, member of my band, I'm going to go ahead and have them switch to this costume. So when the sprite is clicked, I'm going to go ahead and go to looks and go to next costume. Then I'm gonna go down to my music block and I'm gonna have them play one note. We'll just start with one note. So the block that I'm gonna use is play note 60 for 0.25 beats. So play note 60 for essentially one fourth of a beat. If you notice, you can click on the number 60 and there's a piano. So right now the notes are all in piano. That's the instrument that it defaults to is piano. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one use these little arrows to go higher and lower. Where are they going to go? I think I'm going to start with 83. So when the sprite is clicked, go to the next costume, play note to 83. And then I want it to go back to its original costume that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and put another next costume here. So now when I click it, my starfish, my sprite kind of like shrinks a little bit, does a different facial movement, plays the note, and then goes back. You can change the number of the beat. You can do like 0.1 and that'll make it shorter. 
one beat will make it longer. Yeah, you can hear the difference. I'm going to stick to 0.25. Perfect, so I have one member of my band done. Let's go ahead and add another member. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the starfish. I'm going to have an all starfish group here. This starfish I want to look a little different. I don't want them to be the same color as my other sprite. So I'm going to go back to costumes. I'm going to delete this one because I'm not going to use it right now. And I'm going to have this starfish and I'm going to choose a different color. So I think I want this member to be blue. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my paint is uh, clicked and then I can change the color of my starfish to blue. Now I want the member, I want this sprite to go from like dark blue to light blue when I click the sprite to also um, when it's making the instrument noise. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to right click, duplicate, and I'm going to change this color again to a little bit more of like a light blue. Make sure that fill is clicked and then here. So now when I click it, these are the two colors that are going to appear. Go ahead and move my spray kind of like to the center. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and code. So when this sprite is clicked, let's have this sprite maybe play more than one note. I'm going to have this sprite go to the next costume. And I'm going to have them play a different note. So maybe I'll go, go a little lower. Okay, that works for me, 50. And then I'm gonna have them switch the costume back again. So every time they're playing a note, they're going to a different costume. And then I'm gonna grab another note block and I'm gonna change this to 51. I'm gonna grab another next costume. Grab another note. And then do one more next costume. So they go back to the original costume they were in. So now let's see what happens. Oh, one, two, three, four. I guess it needs to be, actually, I think if I remove this one, it should go back to its original costume. So let's try that again. I do need this one. It's called debugging code. Sometimes you think it's going to work and it doesn't. You have to change things. There we go. So there we go. It's kind of do, do, do. Perfect. So it's two members of my band. Let's go ahead and add another one. This time I want to use a different instrument. I don't want the piano. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go go change the color of this one again delete that one maybe this one I'll do a little bit more green oh I kind of like that teal blue I might do that there we go that looks good I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm just gonna make it a little lighter mm, still a little bit more light I think there we go all right, so I'm going to go and when the sprite is clicked, I'm going to have them change to the next costume first. Then I'm going to actually set the instrument to something else. So when I set the instrument to something else, I have all these options I can choose from. The default is piano. But I can do marimba, uh, choir, bassoon, flute. You can choose all these different instruments. I'm going to choose a guitar because guitars are cool. So let's see what happens. Nothing yet because I haven't told it to play a note. Let's go ahead and add that note. Let's see. That kind of sounds the same, but I think it's just because it's a similar note. But you can see how it sounds a little different. It's not quite like a piano. Do like a trombone. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm going to do a trombone. Perfect. So by adding that set instrument and then adding the play note, then you're able to change the instrument type. 
that your sprite is using. So now, awesome. So I'm gonna add one more member of my band. I'm gonna put this person, the sprite right at the top. Again, I'm gonna just change their color real quick. This one I think more of like a yellow. Perfect, right click, duplicate. Let's make it a little lighter. Perfect. Again, so when the sprite is clicked, we are going to go to our next costume. Then we are going to play a drum. So this is like for more percussion type instruments. Uh, drum, cymbals, tambourine. So these um, just allow you to do a different instrument so as well. So I'm going to do a triangle. So let's see what happens. Perfect. Let me go back to looks and add my other next costume here. Make sure they're always starting with that kind of bright color. Perfect. So now... I have a whole band or a whole choir. Um, so that is one way that you can create a beautiful set of sounds using Scratch. Um, I do wanna mention, make sure you always title your work. So I'm gonna go ahead and name mine, I'm gonna name it Starfish Band and click Save Now. Now you can use any instruments, any spray, any backdrop that you think is really cool. You can add as many notes as you like. Um, this is just the way that I've done it, but feel free to make it as large or as small or as complicated or as simple as you would like it. I really hope you enjoyed building the Scratch project with me and have a great day.